So step three is to now upload your new version of that background image into Photoshop, okay? You now have an eye-popping image that will grab attention, it's formatted for most platforms, and now it's time to start adding layers to it, okay? Now the first layer that I like to add to this image myself is literally of myself, okay? And that's because obviously my content personally revolves around a personal brand, okay? If yours does as well, then feel free to use this technique, okay? You can also add a logo or you can simply just add text and another picture if you wanna go that route, okay? So what you need is a few random pictures of yourself already before doing this so that you can then either add them or snip them out. I'll show you both of those examples, okay? So what you can basically do, it's really simple, is just set your phone or your camera up in video mode, then record yourself and make a bunch of gestures or standing poses and then take snippets or screenshots of that still frame in the video by simply pausing it on that gesture and taking a screenshot or a photo of that. And then you'll use that screenshot here on your actual thumbnail and you'll pull yourself out of the screenshot like I'm going to show you to basically personalize your thumbnail image so nobody else can use it, right? It's a really good way and a good, good technique that you see a lot of personal brands doing. Although, like I said, if you don't have a personal brand, then you can you know, adjust this and you don't have to use this step, okay? Now, an example of how this will look right here is you can see with this suit picture, I've already cut myself out. So if I just grab, this is a PNG right here, and this is what I will show you how to do in a second. I can literally just drag myself onto the actual picture and there I am overlaid on the thumbnail, okay? Now you can, what I recommend that you do in most cases, and obviously I didn't do it here so that I could show you, is you want a bunch of these ahead of time already in PNG mode, so you don't have to do this next step you know, every single time and cut yourself out every single time, right? You wanna go through ahead of time, cut yourself out, ahead of time and that way you can simply drag them on because this is you know how to make a professional thumbnail you know quickly right and four easy steps so you know if you do it once well then every other thumbnail that you do using that in the future will be a lot shorter okay but if you need to know how to do that basically what you want to do is you can see the examples of the still frames that I've taken here. So we'll use one that doesn't, that isn't in PNG mode that we need to take myself uh, and remove myself from the background. So let's use this one right here, this example right here, okay? Now, if you need to maximize the image, you can hold Alt and scroll up on your mouse. If you need to, you know, unmaximize the image, then hold Alt and scroll down on your mouse as well, okay? Now I'm gonna scroll, hold Alt and scroll up a little bit. And what I wanna do is I wanna take myself out of the background of this photo so I can overlay myself onto that actual image for our main thumbnail so I can add it, you know, as a personal brand thing, right? So we wanna use the quick select tool, which is right here. So I'm gonna click the quick select tool and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the plus is selected. The minus will take stuff out. The plus will actually select stuff which you wanna grab. So I'm literally just gonna quick select it all, right? I'm just gonna hold down and drag it and you can see it starts to automatically go around the image that we want selected, okay? Now it's not always perfect. You can see right here it's selected too much and we'll go back and take that out here in a second, but Basically, you're just going to drag everything around. That's pretty close to what we want, right? So if my ear is missing a little bit here, there's an extra part right here that I don't need. And obviously, we need to take this out. But everything else automatically selected pretty well, okay? Now, if you need to actually really, really do this, you can select the pen tool and just like draw a pen around yourself and then select it. But that takes so, so long. So the quick select tool is a game changer, okay? So... Now that we selected ourselves, and we need to add a little bit more right here on the ear. So we're just gonna drag this down a little bit and that looks pretty good to me. We wanna you know, hit the minus because I don't need this little thing right here. So I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna click down and just drag over it and boom, there we go, that's taken out. Now, same thing with here. We wanna just kinda click down and boom, it pretty much grabbed it, okay? Now, you're gonna wanna, it's gonna take you maybe like a minute or two to get used to how to do this. You wanna click and kind of drag around it or you can simply just like click once, click once, click once and it'll slowly start taking pieces out. Um, and then if, obviously if you take too much out, you can just go back and hit the plus and reselect more, okay? But now once you have the image pretty much selected like this, you're gonna wanna click select subject and then hit okay. And it's gonna select the subject right here and then you wanna go over to this image right here, the move tool and that's gonna actually select your image, okay? So now it's in PNG, you can see if you drag it around, it literally took you out of the background, but what we wanna do is we wanna drag this entire layer over like it was like a web page file, and then I'm gonna drag myself over on top of the thumbnail image, okay? Now you're gonna X out of this one right here, and you're simply gonna increase, you know, and drag yourself wherever you want in the thumbnail image, but that's pretty much how you do that.
Now, assuming that you've done this, right, and you've dra you drag yourself over the background and place yourself where you want, right, now you wanna adjust the size and the portion accordingly, pretty self-explanatory. I also recommend personally adding like a shadow effect and a background effect to this as well, okay? Now, some people also add a light halo effect around their picture. You'll see that a lot on YouTube thumbnails. I've kind of moved away from that because I think it looks a little cartoonish and I don't necessarily recommend that you do that. So to do that, you wanna right click on the layer over here on the actual timeline right here, and you're gonna to go to blending options. Now, if you do want the outer glow, you can click outer glow right here, and then you can simply drag the the um, like the fill of it, how wide it is open if you wanna add that. You can also adjust the color if you wanna do that as well. Like I said, I don't ever really do that. Um, and if you click outer glow off, then it'll basically go off, right? All I really do, and it's gonna be tough to kind of see it with this image because it's a little bit of a darker image, but you can see it a lot better on a lot of images and it's really gonna bring me to the forefront here in a second is the drop shadow, right? See how kind of adds the shadow right there on the back. Now, if I unselect that, you're gonna see that shadow disappear and that's gonna add the shadow, okay? It's subtle and obviously same thing here, you can adju adjust the size of the shadow if you want to or move it around, you know, as you see fit. Um, and then you're gonna hit okay. Now you'll see that that really kind of brings me to the forefront of this and you'll see the shadow behind and it really kind of separates the layers a little bit better. I really like the way that that looks, okay? So I'm gonna drag myself right here. I'll make myself a little bit bigger and we'll keep it like that. Now, obviously this is gonna be an example thumbnail picture, you know, for let's hypothetically say it's like a, a travel photography course, okay? So what I need to do is I need to obviously add text to that to identify that it's travel photography or if it was a travel photography thumbnail for a video that I was doing for say, you know, on YouTube, for example, right? But now my personal brand image is in there and now I want to move on to adding text. 